Today we're going to take a look at this Howler Knife Sax. Great knife. Dive into a little bit, give you some specs and a little bit of a review coming up next. Alright, so this knife is made by Tom Halloran of Haller Knives. Got a three and three quarter inch blade. Three sixteenths thickness, eight inches overall length. And then the CPM 3V here is pretty much a tank. Uh, Mr. Tom Halloran is a retired Marine, current law enforcement in the great state of Montana. And he's making some pretty great knives, in my opinion, out there. Can't really beat them. So this is his take on the Viking sax. Uh, kind of just the term for any knife of any size in Viking culture. And it's pretty good, pretty good interpretation in my mind. Very cool, very useful overall. A very versatile knife. Take a look at the logo here. His Haller Knives logo. Got the steel type on the back with his secondary logo, the NF in the circle, meaning never forget, never forgive. As a remembrance to brothers and sisters, we've lost uh, fighting the war on terror, 9 11, fighting any other of the the wars the US military has been involved in. Never forget, never forgive. So it's gonna come with a sheath here. Nice Kydex sheath. Pretty simple, but very effective. I'd, I've had no problems with it. Comes with an inside the waistband uh, pull the dot loop. If you want to carry it that way, I've taken that off and put it on this Raven Concealment Pocket Shield. Uh, makes it a little bit easier to carry it in the front pocket of my uh, GR1. Um, and for overall use, I haven't put this thing through a whole hell of a lot. It uh, kind of just rides around and it's there when I need it. I've used it to prep some firewood, baton it a little bit. I've used it to punch a holes in um, a coffee can to make a stove. Um, just general stuff like that. Used it for a little bit of food prep after you know cleaning it up a little bit. Um, overall, it's just a pretty, pretty darn good knife. Um, I traded a. Strider DB for this knife, which Strider DB is another great knife. It's a tank, it's a workhorse, you can do anything you need to with it. But I figured uh, I can probably always buy another one of those, but getting a custom knife is it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to have something a little more custom. Talk a little bit about the grip here. So it's comfortable, your standard kind of normal forward grip, comfortable in a sort of inverted edge, or you can carry it in the more Pical reverse grip type grip here. So pretty versatile, the handle shape might make it look like it's only comfortable to carry in a standard grip, but you can move it around pretty well and use it for what you need it for. If you're ever looking for a custom knife, or you find a Haller Knives Sax or any of his other models for sale, I'd suggest snapping it up because I don't think you can really go wrong with it. Uh, if you can order one direct from him, get on his books, 
whatever it takes, I recommend getting one if if the opportunity presents itself. Pretty pretty good knife, great knife. Um, gonna serve you well. Take care of it. Oil it up a little bit. I have noticed that I have to put a little, a little bit of oil on this one every month or two. Um, I'll get some surface, very very minor surface rust if it just sits in that uh, in that Kydex sheath for too long, riding around every day. But other than that, it's been no problem, and I need to get some more honest wear marks on there. Real quick wrap up here, um, definitely if you've got the opportunity to pick up a Haller Knives, a Sax or any of the other models, I would jump on it. Uh, overall knife is pretty usable for just about any situation, uh, maybe not as a hunting knife or a fillet knife, but you could probably do that in a pinch if you had to. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, have a good one, hope you can find yourself a Haller Knife.